Hello everybody troop, welcome back. Okay guys, so as I told you, I am going right now to the concert or to the show of Luan de Lesseps here at the Wiltern. She is going to be here just for today with my husband. And we are literally walking right now to the venue. Um, this is this is my outfit of the day, you know, very sparkly. So anyways, um, I'm very excited because she's actually going to be um, releasing a new song today. I don't know what it's going to be the name, but I, uh, she's kind of like doing some press around. So that's going to be a big thing. I'm going to try to film. I don't even know if I'm allowed to film, but I'm going to try to film. Uh, if not, I will tell you my reaction when we left the show. Okay, so let's see. So here we are guys at the legendary wheel turn place of stars actually it's very like normal this is wheelchair boulevard right here and i don't know if you can see let me miss luan de la Seps right there so we are literally the first ones in line it's 6 30 the doors open at 7. yes All right, guys, we are inside. The chairs are um, a little bit cozy, but anyways, look, Countess Luan. All right, guys, as you see, now it's getting even a little bit more full of people.
Where's my
Hi guys, so I wanted to come here very quickly and give you my honest, honest opinion on Luan de Lesseps show. I'm gonna be raw, I'm gonna be real, I'm gonna tell it all, okay? So let's start with the fact that I actually do love Luan de Lesseps, you know? I, I, of course, I'm a big fan of the Real Houses of New York. I have been watching for years i love her on crappy lake i like her on ultimate girl strip i love her when she was drinking when she was sober when, when she was drinking again i am very like i feel that what she has done in life it's so impressive you know so many people has laughed at her you know saying that she is uh that she was pursuing like a stupid dream that she was i mean honestly on some people doubt her you know but watching that show and seeing how everyone in there i mean the wheelchair yeah it might not be the huge arena you know like madonna or britney spears will feel but it was still you know a whole theater and it was sold out it was full of people and to watch everyone go crazy for Luan, I have to tell you, it was like such a beautiful experience right there, you know, because she literally, um, you can you can see the happiness, you know, she does her thing, you know, she does her show and you can see how happy she is to be there she accomplished her dream and honestly I, I i remember watching her and being like i could totally picture luan at 80 years old doing this not giving a fuck about what people are saying about her and just enjoying life and that's something that i have to applaud for luan because that's the the, the end goal in life you know just doing something that is your passion no matter what other people are saying no matter uh, expectations from the world no matter nothing no matter money no matter anything just being purely happy you know so i'm i'm, I'm very very happy for luan you know uh and it was it was a good show it was a good show uh i'm gonna talk now into specifics because even though it was a good show i will personally do some tweaks you know to it um but that doesn't take away from the fact that it is a, a great show you know like i will totally go and watch it again but the tweaks that i'm saying is just because i think it will make it better all right the first thing is um luan interacts a lot with the with the people with the public you know and i think that was a very good thing she's funny she's doing her her jokes look the intro of mary f kill i have to tell you one of the best intros i have ever seen it was funny it was uh it caught the attention of everyone it was so well produced that i love like the intro the first part you know that right there the video and she uh singing mary f kill amazing amazing honestly it was so so good well done well well done okay now i believe that the show okay so i don't know if i want to go i'm trying to i'm trying to like process everything there are a couple of things that i didn't like you know um one of the things that I did not enjoy too much was the fact that she sang a lot. And what I'm saying a lot is a lot of other random songs, you know? Um, she, when she sing, when she sings um, Flowers by Miley Cyrus, I think that was amazing. Everyone knows the song. It was great, you know? But then she starts singing other song and another especially after the second part after the in, the intermission you know the second part it was oh my god song after song after song after song that are not her songs you know and i'm like is this a karaoke show so at some point i was a little bit annoying you know that with that part i was being like mm, you know because and as as a luanda lesseps fan i want to go there to watch her sing, you know, I want to watch her sing a Chick Sell La Vie, Money Can Buy You Class, Viva La Diva, Giovanni, um, 
well, Mary F. Kill, which is the new song. Uh, the other song that she also sung, I don't remember the name. Uh, even the Christmas song that she put out there. Like, I wanted to, like, watch all of those songs right there from her. I want to show from those songs. You know what I mean? And I think there was so many missed opportunities instead of her, you know, singing like a random Elton John song and, 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 and I think Shiana Twain or like, you know, yes, there are songs that people know, of course, you know, and everyone was like singing, you know, and all of that. But I was like, oh, I want to see her more, you know. One of the things that I really, really didn't like was the fact that she did not sing Giovanni. Maybe it's because Giovanni is one of my favorite songs, but I'm saying like, you you don't have too many songs. Why are you not singing Giovanni live? They literally just put the video on a screen while she changed for the final song. I was like, such a missed opportunity. Instead of the other stupid ass songs, you know, I wouldn't have seen Giovanni with, you know, a little fashion show in the back of girls dressed in Giovanni. Or some bullshit like that, you know? Uh, something like that, but like to hear her sing everything that that would have been very very fun She didn't sing Viva La Diva. I'm like, why are you not saying Viva La Diva? What is happening girl? You know um, She of course sings she uh, money can buy you class, which is the end of the show love 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 oh, She did a great job with that one. Okay, Another part that I think it was a little bit too long is the t the the ten tips for the girl code or whatever girl tips. I think it was a little bit too long. I wouldn't have done only like four tips and that's it. You know, I love that she interact with the public by playing Mary F. Kill, but I do think that it should have been a little bit more longer because that's the name of the show, and she really focused only on the celebrities that were there. You know. Uh, Lane's Bass was there, Jeff Lewis, Crystal Minkoff, Heather Dubrow. Um, there was um, this guy from uh, a guy from Glee, another guy who's also a big actor. There was there was a lot of celebrities in there, you know. But then they focus into playing with them instead of like the, the regular people who like also pay for their tickets, you know. So I would I wouldn't like introduce a little bit more of like the game. I, I I think that game couldn't have been a little bit more longer, or maybe one part, one time on the first part and another time on the second part. You know, so people kind of like interact a little bit more. Um, what else can I tell you? I know. I mean, right now I'm just saying like like the bad things. You know. But, I, but in, in general, even with the random songs, the random songs are, are, are random just because they're not her songs, but there are very known songs that people were like singing, you know? Just like, to me, it was also a little bit more of like, I want to see her doing her show, you know? Like singing her songs, you know? So, um, but the show in itself, all of it is really well put together. You know, uh, the her dresses are amazing. The way she interacts with the public is great. She talks a lot. She makes you laugh. She, uh, she, you know, it's 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 a good interaction. It's a good. It's a really 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 good show, and I do do approve of it. <laughs> yeah, I like. I I want you guys to go if you have the chance. Go buy your tickets and watch it because it's really 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 fun. You know. Now I don't know if she's gonna change things for other shows in other parts. But that's how it was here in LA, and that's what I'm basing my opinion with. Okay, so congratulations to Luan de la Seps. You did an amazing, an amazing job. Keep working hard. I, I, I want more songs of her. I, I love what she's doing or what she's putting together. You know, and yeah. So I hope that you guys enjoy the little clips that I was able to took for you. And let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. And I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.